In an unbelievable situation, illegal migrants were moved into a Brooklyn high school, evicting 2,000 American students from their classrooms. This explosive story gets into the clash between migrant accommodation and the impact on local students and residents in New York City. The story we're about to get into provides more proof that the Democratic Party cares more about using illegal migrants to gain power than they do about American citizens who pay their salaries through their tax dollars. Let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So just when you thought New York City couldn't get any crazier, they go ahead and prove us wrong once again. In a move that sounds like it's straight out of a dystopian novel, over 2,000 children were relocated from James Madison High School in Brooklyn to allow illegal migrants to live there. Why? A massive storm was about to hit the city, and apparently the illegal migrant tent at Floyd Bennett Field wasn't stormproof. Talk about a last-minute scramble, right? But this wasn't just a relocation. It was a full-blown eviction of students from their own school. The second-floor gym became the new home for these illegal migrants. Can you imagine being told you're not welcome in your own school because the city needs to shelter illegals? And they say fiction is stranger than truth. This school was not filled with poor kids. In fact, the school was mainly filled with children of immigrants themselves who came in legally, Russian and Ukrainian. They've been there a long time. But they came in legally so they don't matter to the Democratic Party. Apparently, 85% of the kids can read at the proficiency levels, and 89% can do the math at proficiency levels. In New York City, that's a very well-run school with very good students and parents who care. And now they've been shit on by Democrat politicians who can't say no to illegal aliens. Now, let's take a moment to appreciate the irony here, right? The city was concerned about the safety of these illegals from the storm. What about the safety and education of their own students? They're American citizens, for Christ's sake. It seems like the government of New York's priorities are as mixed up as a bowl of spaghetti. The neighbor's reaction? That's oh, about as warm as a snowstorm in July. Residents like this one guy in the neighborhood named Rob, he saw right through their so-called temporary solution. He said, this is fucked up. <laughs> it's a litmus test. They are using a storm, a legitimate situation where they are testing this out, he said. I guarantee you they'll be here for the entire summer. He went on. There's 1,900 people getting thrown into my neighborhood, half a block from where I live. We don't know who they are. They're not vetted. A lot of them have criminal records and backgrounds we don't even know. Mark his words. These migrants might just overstay their welcome like unwanted house guests who never leave. There's a woman named Michelle. She's a mother who's frustrated. Her frustration was as palpable as the rain pouring down on those school buses carrying the illegal aliens who were displacing their kids. She screamed at the buses, how do you feel? Does it feel good? How does it feel that you kicked all the kids out of school tomorrow? Does it feel good? I hope you feel good. I hope you will sleep very well tonight. And they will, thanks to your tax dollars. He's questioning the cost of this decision. And honestly, who wouldn't? Her taxes are now sponsoring a sleepover at a local high school. A local man asked, how do you feel stealing American tax money? Let's not forget about the students, the real victims here. With a single day's notice, they were informed that their school is now a makeshift illegal migrant shelter for people who shouldn't even be allowed to be here. Now, for the American students, online learning is back on the menu. We all know how well that went over during COVID, right? Studies showed that children who did remote learning from home suffered mental and psychological damage. And don't let them fool you. Every teacher, every administrator, but more so every politician knows this. But New York politicians don't give a shit about your kids. Don't glom over this, folks, and don't let the politicians forget it. They just told you that they don't care about your kids as much as they care about illegal aliens. And if you think this is only going to happen in New York, then I've got some wonderful miracle supplements I would just love to sell you. Now, there's a gym teacher named Robin Levy who had some questions. She said, they told us we had to get everything out by 5 p.m. They sent us the email at 6 in the morning. Imagine this. She said, I don't know when we'll be able to go back. 
Remote learning possibly means there's no more sports or extracurricular activities. This is where the mental and psychological disorders come in for these kids. What well, She said, what I want to know is why here? Well, because your Democrat politicians care more for the power that illegal aliens give them than your tax dollars. She said, why not send them somewhere where students wouldn't be disrupted, where students' learning wouldn't be disrupted? Again, because your elected officials do not care. Will the Democrat voters in New York hold the politicians accountable for this? Not on your life, because they're morons. They will get used to the fact that their children were put on a lower level of concern than illegal aliens who do not belong here and who broke our laws to get here. And they will vote Democrat in the next election. You got to wonder, what would make things bad enough to change New York? Because I'm telling you, folks, if you voted Republican, none of this crap would happen to you. You wouldn't have to leave blue states. This isn't just about misplaced compassion. It's a strategic move. With people fleeing blue states, the Dems are losing congressional seats faster than a gambler loses money in Vegas. Their solution? Fill those states with illegal migrants. It's a numbers game. And boy, are they playing to win. Blue states like California, Illinois, New York, and others have had people fleeing for red state freedom by so many numbers that the 2020 census showed that they lost a congressional seat. And remember, when you lose a congressional seat, you also lose an elector from the Electoral College. So blue states treat their people so shitty that they are willing to gather everything they own and move out of their homes, out of their neighborhoods, from the people they know and love, including family, because they just can't take it anymore. They go to the red states for the freedom that still rings there. And the answer from blue state Democrat politicians is not to start treating the people better and doing things that make their lives better. No, their answer is to bring in tens of millions of illegals who will fill up the numbers in the next census so that they can get higher federal grants. They'll get their congressional seat back and their elector count back. And these fucking demons from the Democratic Party don't give a rat's ass who they harm in the process. The ends justify the means in the eyes of these little communist bastards that they are. This isn't just about housing migrants. It's about a gradual erosion of American values. Think about the pattern here. First, they filled up all the hotels in New York with migrants by displacing American citizens in the process. Then they evicted people, including veterans, from the nursing homes so that they could place illegals there. And now the schools. And if you think this Brooklyn school is the only one they're going to do it to, then you must be as dumb as a Democrat. They are going to fill all the schools that they can. And then when they run out of schools to displace American children, you got to ask, what's next? Your living room couch? Well, yes. Already in Massachusetts, politicians are asking people to volunteer a room in their home for illegal migrant families. And by family, they mean a group of military aged men. But the problem is that it would be very easy for you to volunteer your room in your home with your family, seeing them and living with them. But when they start acting up and behaving improperly, which has been the pattern so far in the hotels that they overtook, it will be nearly impossible for the homeowners to get rid of them, get them out of your home, even if they are dangerous. They will make them go by the eviction laws, which could take upwards to three months to get them out. And think of the damage they could do in that amount of time. And when people start recognizing this, they will stop volunteering their homes, their properties, and that's when the Democrats will force you to take them. I know, I know. You're saying, that'll never happen, Rich. But I'll bet you never thought that they would kick your kids out of schools to bring illegal migrants in, did you? All right. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And share our videos with like-minded friends who want to stay informed with what's really going on. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.